Kill, pretty fun as well. Sage, of course, also a yeah. shout out to so the recent the LCK jungle. finals. Yeah, it is a 20 jungle. Mm -hmm. The early pick, the flex. We have seen her go into the jungle a lot more. Camille will be threatening these moves towards mid. Start getting something more done with this last pick. Okay, looking at Jensen here. His flash is down. The fear is perfect. Has no agency anymore. And first blood comes through for Jojo Pion. Evil geniuses with this move for their bottom lane. They're actually coming for the fight, but they're too late. Ooh, knock up there. Decent damage here. Fudge, he does not have flash. He might try to jump the wall. Ult for a bit of time, but is it going to be enough, though? Rewards the Rive. Lulu ulti buys a lot of time as fire goes down. Orin hits three. Is Jojo. The wall is Jojo. No ulti. That might not be enough because Shockwave's going to be here. Going to land on one more champion as impact falls down as well. Fudge finds his stun. Blabber as well. Jojo Pion has no flash. He's got no oh. flash. And it's a 3-0. Yeah, what, what a player uh, he has been for Cloud9 as well. Uh, Hugely talked up rookie. Oh, a on on impact, Ignite, second stun. Four to one kill score. Cloud9 keep coming. Looting yeah. here for Cloud9 is going to become very difficult to deal with. The Drake gets picked up right there, I believe. And Azir. Yep. That feels more valuable than whatever you're going to get from the Herald. And he's going to be first place in gold now. 6,800 gold on Jojo Pyun. With the ulti and then save the Q. So when they get low, then they Q out. You can Warmogs back up. Um, so it can be pretty powerful. Cloud9, though, going to be able to knock down a tower here. I'm just glad that with the predictions, again, completely one-sided, we're already getting a look here where this series is going to be closer than anticipated. Fudge in the yeah. side lane versus Impact is exactly what he wants. Yeah, already on a half HP right now. Going to hold ulti for, I think, the right thing to immune. Goes in now. Impact W does absolutely nothing. Puts his own ulti down. But guess what, buddy? Oh. You pressed R just got shot down. one nothing. an ult for safety. And now Danny in. Chase has some moves, but there's still more from the other side. Now Fudge does not have his ult anymore, but can try to go for more of a chase. Will not get the slow, but a jump in from Berserker. Still going for it. Red buff slow is on. Danny needs the move speed. In again oh. is Fudge as the kill comes through. Berserker finds another. Cloud9 going off across the map there. Impact way up. Fudge takes the easy solo kill in the 1v1. Then TP's down a bot side where Berserker flashing in, chasing down Danny. Uh, that, that Zeri ultimate is permanent. The Sivir <laughs> ultimate is not. Oh my goodness. Cloud9 are such a momentum-based team as well. They're just building up in this game, in this series. 6-1 is the kill count. Catch it up to the crab count. We're going to get dragons evened up afterwards as well. Jensen does not stick around to try and put They it. gotta give up the pressure. The biggest strength here for Cloud9, the advantage in the side lanes. Absolutely, Impact's just gonna have to give up that tower. We'll have to back it. And we keep the scoreline looking good Cloud9-wise. Now we are again 10 minutes and change away from a mountain soul. That Infinity Edge. If they can get that Infinity Edge mm -hmm. done, then you'll see Evil Geniuses really try and commit to something. Cloud9 want to force it though. They know, hey, we've got the Infinity Edge advantage on our AD carry. Try and bait EG over. Jojo does have his death cap though, and EG are aware this is going on. Well, can we look for it now? Inspired is nearby. Four or five K health left on it. Is this going to be it? EG and playoffs in front of Baron. Cannot find the Yumi ult to land on any target his pirates so zip it around, but doesn't have his engage either. That's going to be Ghost and his charge timing out Fudge. Still on the flank. Tagged a little bit. Stun's gonna land. Is that the kill on Jojo? The shield pops. Will he die? Shovels back. Stays up for now. Gets out. Stays alive. On the back. Is Danny running away. Danny's firing at a blabber. Damage is pretty good. Over the wall he goes. Stays alive. Fudge gets a stun. Down goes Inspired. Danny's got a kite, but Fudge is tanky. Shot oh, oh, back in. Is a triple kill. And nothing else Jojo can do. Four unanswered. And Jojo and Cloud9 wipe Evil Geniuses off that Baron. Again, I want to emphasize the timing. We're just talking about. Really good awareness here from Cloud9. They forced it before Danny could get his Infinity Edge. That Sivir was auto Or it's potentially a Warmogs, could also just be Anathemas, uh, which is much more popular. Um, but if you do want to answer Split Bush, Warmogs you know, definitely is a good option there. They're going to potentially look for a pick, though. You know, the only way EG can stop this is by getting a kill on one side, because they have no one that can answer Fudge in the 1v1. And if you send multiple members, Cloud9 will just overshove on the other side and be able to get those towers down. Wow, Jojo, not an easy way out. Shoves around, doesn't matter at all. They lose a mid laner. Here comes the charge. Never Hecarim is going to be enough, though. Danny gets away from Fudge for a second. And it's time for Orin to find a knockup. But already two members are dead. Danny's got to be careful. Danny goes down at the Hercule Kill. And one goes back over to the top side. Impact left alone. Impact locked in place. And he's got nowhere to go but the graveyard. The Bloodlet Ace comes through. Cloud9. 15 to 1 in kills. They won in.
and crabs they won and drakes they won this game 31 30 on the clock and haters be damned cloud nine take the first game over eg whoa what a game it wants to poke and play it slow yeah. now you're kind of pairing that with some hard engage but that being said you know ezreal can throw a lot of damage over top you know if you are having you know the atrox flanking in heavily if I just three this, so he has her post now to get rid of maybe Sejuani Q. You just stun her out and you're not going to get stunned yourself, but yeah, they're waiting they want to make this play. They're waiting for three on impact and I think they're going to look. See if they get it right now. Chain's going to land pretty good damage here. The chain across, though the claw doesn't get reactivated in time. First blood early. In this case, I might honestly favor it to, I mean, it's a bit of a toss up, but it's probably just skill based. And that means it's going to really depend on the bot lane and the bot lane situation. Oh, that's going to be the root in place. So he jumps into double guns, and Danny has to flash back out of safety. Summoners are down for the entire EG bot lane. Berserker flashes in Danny. for the slow, and Danny serves himself up on a silver platter and turns his bot lane into no gold. Oh, can okay, Jojo get both? Yeah, I mean, he can't even recall, so it's going to be Jojo Fun set up for a double right here. Thank you very much. Berserker knows best he can do is execute by as much time as possible. Yumi, both kills are on the gank by Inspired. Uh, you know, Jojo didn't ult anything. It was already down, so just getting the flash out of the mid lane. Gotta say, Jojo's doing great in this lane. Despite the fact that he actually died, he has been the one that, you know, is up pressure. He's up two ways, maybe oh, from now. Beautiful. Jojo tried oh. to flash to make room for the claw. <laughs> Not going to happen. And then recall. And when you die, you get a speed boost to yep. get back onto the map faster. So I, I believe Jojo had TP. Helps me out a lot. Yeah, I, I believe Jojo had TP, so the speed buff wasn't super important. But EG felt confident to start the Herald because he saw it. You know, I was looking at EG as the heavy favorite. I think based on the predictions, most people were. Uh, but Cloud9 is coming out, and we heard Max Waldo talking about how he thinks they're playing the best they have all year. But they're here. Now. Runs on a one. Is it going to hit the kill off Sven? Is the question? Because here comes Wukong. No ult for the Berserk's going to hit it. Oh, wow. Auto's coming across. Locked in place. Blabber. Three kills in a row now. Inspired trying to stay alive, but his flash is already down. Yumi will not save from double kill comes across. And a claw to safety. Two. Good second item, at the very least. Yep. I do want to talk about builds, actually, because EG has some interesting builds. The first thing I notice is Divine Thunder on Ezreal, which. I think used to be really bad, and yeah. I want to go to Freak because... I, I haven't looked since the Divine Thunder like, rework, so I actually couldn't tell you if it's it's definitely great. I mean, Triforce builds used to give you like the first big power spike. There was so much power all at once. Hold on. Yeah, Impact needs to get away. One more Q would kill. Fudge could flash follow. He's going to try, and he oh. gets into the tower. Fudge! Turret to about 1,000 health, a bit under. Let's see if they can go for any more out of that one. 0-0 zero zero turret score. Fudge crushing in the bottom lane, and Gates look at the mid lane. But the only root Blabber's clone. Three engage not gonna come through the flash in, not come through there, but they stun him! Oh, in front of the Ezreal! Just a complete oh. int by Blabber. Three, his team was there, but a bit too overzealous. And I think that was a weird timing for them to look for the kill. Oh, oh wow. Fudge is on the flank of Flash for Danny. A stun's gonna land it for now. Didn't manage to repost it in time. Will the re engage look good? Fudge is almost out of mana. Impacts here. Double root comes in for JoJo. And it's gonna be Berserker falling. Bailout will not last long enough. Zen's trying to run, but he's just Renata with no summoners. Impact slows the moves. He's got a Yumi. He's got a knockup. And we're gonna see EG with signs of life. Couple of kills coming through. Bridge is gone. He backs it up, avoids any sort of death. Uh, just checking the Baron, making sure there's not any sort of sneaky rush. Yep. yep. I, I have to say this is a very well-played sequence from both teams, to be honest, because I do think C9 opting to fight at this point in time, just when looking from it. items, it looks like there's a, a huge item difference in top lane. And that is about... Oh, already trying out of the tower, wow. yes! And they get oh. it, Jensen gets kill credit, Ulti comes through, tower. knocked down the cannons. Top tier two, maybe traded for a Drake that won't mean much. Yeah, it feels like they're just deciding to give it up, right? Just buy more time for Fiora, try to open up the map. You're going to take that tier two down. Jojo almost gets killed by Jensen. And now they can actually potentially contest because Jojo's got to go back to base. Yeah, they yeah. team with the blue trinket. He's got to get all the way across and be careful. Jensen's on the track. Jensen's going to look for him. Jensen sees him. The flash in a cell bolt. But they're going to have that kill. You got to believe. TV comes in for fudge. Quick reset on the Drake. Jojo gets out. Danny over the wall. They're going to try to find a single kill as recompense. And they might actually drop the Drake for now. Daniel's going to put the next side of the team fight. Impact's still around. Blabber wants to engage. Can't find it. Yep, but almost inspired drops. Flash to the wall, stays safe for now. Blabber clone drops. A quick slow out of the Yubi. Oh, Danny in the chase. Running. Danny's got a red buff, but Danny's getting attacked. Danny Dude. flashes back, but Blabber takes him down. The crab in his eyes and he kills him. Out of the tower, a three for zero. Cloud nine. They were getting a bit hypey. 
I'm curious if they didn't do Baron because Ezreal has TP. Yeah. And that could be something that they're thinking about. I do think they could have gotten the Baron if Ezreal didn't, like they knew Ezreal wouldn't be there, but like to win this team fight, but Berserker still had all of his juice. He's had the ultimate, he had the kill for us. And this is one of the things that Aphelios can do. He can randomly just one-shot your whole team. And it's why this champion isn't as prioritized as Sivir and Zeri. But and it's still a very strong chance. Ooh, the double reserve buys some time. Oh, Sven in trouble. And fuck, they knock him down. Chase in for more as Sven was locked in the brush now as well. Two for zero. Maybe a chance at Baron for a comeback. I, I think they should go for it. It's, it's objective bounties. You know, you are so far down in this game. Two people dead. At the very least, you can look for a turn. Blabber has no flash. They'll have the timer on that. So if they can track him. Huge engage by Blabber. Doesn't find the kills just yet. They go back out for a second. Jensen plays it well also. Helper's going to be low, but they've got a Humidity heal back up. Summoner heal is down, but at wow, least they can spam buttons. Hard. They're going to yep. try on the 5v4. I don't know about this one. I think this might be... I mean, it's desperate. Ooh, it, it's it is desperate. very scary. I mean, you're down 6k. Maybe this is your only shot at winning the game, right? It, it, it absolutely could be. Jojo does still have ultimate, so that is something to keep in mind. They do have a turning tool. I think C9 is probably going to try to fight this, and it'll just come down to the mechanics at this point. Can you find Blabber? He's got half a health bar. It's going to be a spike fight pretty soon into the mix. Danny gets one of the jets. They trade back eight trucks. Blabber's coming around. Wants to find it. The oh. bounty is claimed. The smite comes through. Oh, Jojo. Danny's wow. alive. And Danny in the back. Three and a half thousand gold, but they're still behind. They still cannot win top lane. Yeah, and that's never going to change. I mean, Fudge is up over 3,000 gold here. You know, should be able to run this one out in such a short career, right? Like, he has a number of plays that are, like, top three, top five LCS plays all time. And he's he's been around for, like, a year and a half. It's pretty insane. Yeah, he he makes it happen in the team fights. And this is like this, like if I was on the enemy team, I would be, I would want anyone except Danny playing Ezra right now. You know, like Hans, you can't really pause. You have to see the moment and then go right for it. Uh, and he is able to, to both recognize it and then execute on these incredibly fed Ezreal mm -hmm. with a Yumi on top of him. He's going the Frozen Heart Mom Malorius build on Ezreal, which means he's super uh -oh. tanky. But if they get the flank on the front, pull back into Inspired, stopwatch for some time. Danny running away though. Fudge is on. Fudge is going to deal with them. And Fudge has got a full house cheering his name now as well. Vulcan dropped three for nothing. They might try to end. A blaze all of welcome to your caster curse, buddy. No Yay. one can deal with Danny's <laughs> Ezreal except Fudge, who takes matters in his own hand. You're welcome. Yep. Go fish, EG. We got mid getting crushed right now. Inhibitor turret going to be there. Impact wants to cut the wave, yep. but there's already a wave here. Yeah, and so it's going to be up to Jojo. He does have self-ult, so maybe you just try to go in and kill the wave here right he away. Yeah, I might think... die for it. Roots in place, pull back, canceled. there's the self -ult. No, it's a stop block. Oh, they're going to get it. It's going to be the turrets falling. A couple minions die. The Nexus falls. Cloud9, 2-0, EG. Cloud9 taking us to Matt be able to actually deal with the frontliners as well. The Trundle, as Kobe was saying, is also going to be a real tank because he's going to steal all those stats from the Sejuani. So it is a super beefy frontline here from C9. You need high DPS. The Azir, sure. was the Trundle actually spotted there or not? He did try to skirt the ward. Killer is up. WE gets pretty far, but still blocked up. Burns a flash. Chain lands. They're going to get it. They need two more shots. One more auto kills as Blabber holds the aggro. First blood again. All three. Make sure EG get this dragon, this counter objective. So Renekton power here is being felt. It's a meager CS lead, you know, versus the Scion. But I like this use of the teleport cooldown. Walks out just to make sure he could get it back there. Signing back uh, to purchase. I wonder if he has full Ludens. That would be so early. He got a kill. He was given first blood, so no, I think he doesn't have it. Just, okay. just uh, blasting, blasting yeah, that, there. That would be insanely just early. Boost with first blood, I think it's possible. But oh, the pillar nearly catches him, but just away. The rest of the EG bot lane is slow for Fudge to get the rest though. Trying to kite it out. Charm on a two. Is it enough though? Is there backline access? Impact shoved around. Jojo, Jojo, Jojo walks in. Bit more damage, but he's going to die. Berserker kills him. Trades one for the jungler. Not the best target here. Science holds the front, and they're going for more now. Can they get away? EG kiting for their lives. Good amount of damage. Zven dangerously low, but not dead here either. Vulcan still looking for stacks here. Another couple of shots come through from Seraphine. Jensen wants more. Chain's going to land. Impact could drop. Oh, and, Zven, and the rest of the squad is up. Berserker's on for a double. Oh. is through. They just couldn't get the stacks to drop, but EG is back out of the map faster, so they will get the dragon. It is Berserker way ahead of the pace of the game. The though. dragon stacking in their favor, mm -hmm. and they still have this huge amount of healing and shielding for later on. It's just that, remember, the Zeri does King. 
sap away some of those shields. Fudge, you can see in a single combo, no ulti use, no flash use, can chop him at half HP. And he's got Sunfire down, so it's not like it's, you know, item difference, but Sun comes in, ulti Inspired. traded. Here's the stun from Inspired, Senna helps as oh. well. And there's nothing you can do. They tried the 2v1 renekton, them, but it was 2v3. Uh, we'll see which build he's gonna go for. Has theoretically good opponents of a Kraken if he wants to go for anti-frontline. Uh, we'll see which way he goes. Turret goes down to the top side. So the Has really come alive, is looking so good as a team. They already had one Herald crash on this tower. The second one should be enough to finish that off, and it's gonna be first turret down, and that bastion of safety. Push mid, push top lane right now. It's okay, Fudge will back off. He's playing Scion. It's fine, weak side Scion. Just clear out some of those minions. Rest of the team, push forward. They're gonna get the trade. They want more of these towers down. It does mean good things for Impact, though. You know, he's been able to keep ahead of the pace of the game here a bit. Uh, he's ultimate up. ready, but look can he get he around the, the big front line? Stun, they're going for Azir! He's got no way out, burns his stopwatch for a second, but will it be enough is the question. Impact wants to find his flank. Out goes JoJo, Berserker doesn't get a whole lot, but it's Jensen finding a kill on the back line. Before the Drake spawns, it's 5v4. Yeah, they're gonna put a stop to that Drake second right now. Cloud9, 5v4, they reset. Berserker still has ulti, he held it for this fight, so he can still go off in this battle. I don't know if EG can do anything. Stun comes across, wanting to kill Blabber. Charm hits one, will it kill Zven? Yes, they get the snipe! and Trundle as well in a four Jace versus five. EG make it a four versus three. They walk up too far. Blabber gets bursted. Now it is Evil Geniuses sustaining backup. The Seraphine. Oh my goodness. Dragon number three at only 20 minutes. Such a pivotal fight there for EG. Vulcan getting the last auto in on Trundle, I believe, to finish him off. And with no enemy jungler, they secure this. EG hanging on in this series. Yeah, Blabber and Sven both walking up there very aggressively without the by the masquerade of Seraphine support, not respecting yep. the damage. Yeah, this is meant to be a, like, the initial sign. Yeah, I don't think EG can force it easily. He's gonna try again, Jensen. Everything is too late. He goes right back out. Fight starts, maybe all the same. Fudge takes some poke, but he's still tanking the front side. That force nature doing a lot of work. On the top side, they're never gonna be near Tribush. Jensen's still waiting around the wings to find a play. TP comes a further neck, then is this the fight? Does this end it all? Cloud9 could 3 out. The ulti goes wide from Sejuani. Zap's not gonna land for much. They gotta be careful though. Fudge finds his stun, goes to front line, gets another knockup. Send ulti over the top of all five. Jensen's still on the flank though. Can they find the kills? Not just yet. Does the next engage come through? Cloud9 just cannot get through the front line. Yeah. Inspired has too much support to be killed. Yeah, it's really well played there by EG, not ever fully committing to it. And because they have so much healing, the longer these fights go, the better it is for them. But they do force the TP there off of impact. So at the very least, they got that. EG though, gonna claim a tower. Look at how strong that clump is though. The immovable. What that was the play? Yeah, Void Snipe, Bloody Jewel is actually really, really inefficient. You want to go all the way over once you start the item, but we've got another fight towards the Baron right now. It is at least a power spike. We want a thousand gold to spend at this moment. It'll be something, and ult's gonna land, but guess what? Trundle just flashes the charm in time to keep his level alive. Berserk doesn't land on a whole lot, but we got re it on the side. Dives in for Jojo Pyun, burns his stopwatch. No kill, but is it too much for him? Blabber, gonna be attacked, gonna die. Jojo won't just drop the heals coming in time. He will not die. They can't kill a single soul. Berserker! Vulcan flashes, Berserker tries, but it's not gonna happen. Everyone is falling, it's just Jensen! What Danny had done just months ago in the Baron pit. It would have alone. to be a miracle. It would. The health bar seemed far too high. Gets a run of impact. Impact buys a ton of time. No smite doesn't matter. Baron claimed now can they Cloud9 took so much damage from this Baron. Blabber engaged that fight at 50% HP and they chased through. Too much sustain from evil geniuses as they get everybody out of the Baron pit. Man, that was so close that Jensen had such a good angle. And we can see it again in the Rock Hat. Flip the switch replay here. The initial engage onto Blabber here gets nailed by the Sejuani ult. Barely able to flash in time to avoid the Seraphine ult. But then the kite is on here. Zeri pops the ulti early. Jojo goes in for the scoop. Flashes, but not able to actually connect. And then Jensen hunting on the side here was constantly lurking around. Yeah, Jensen pokes in there, but it's too little, too late. As Berserker goes in, he almost takes the kill onto Vulcan. Blabber now under attack again. Don't have flash to chase him now, so he won't get that one to go through. But the narrowest of margin, I think Danny had uh, the empowered shield come through a giant, like 40% missing health heal, and JoJo kept him alive. Yeah, yeah you see that huge heal in? He already had death cap as well prior to that fight. So that death cap amp on that massive heal was really all that kept JoJo alive. Between him and that. Senna, there's so much healing in this squad, so much shielding. They're not hitting these, these massive spikes that they need. So many healers, but uh, right now it is EG. Sieging in the bottom side, good damage oh. in a Vulcan. A couple of autos coming back and forth, trying to knock this turret down. We'll do reasonably well. Vulcan back up mostly to full. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, the laser hit him for about 700, but one Q from the Senna is a 400 heal there. Plus, you have the healing in from Danny. Mid lane tower going down to the Renekton. Bot lane turret already cracked here. They're onto the inhibitors. I think C9 just going to be giving this one up. We'll see where they actually decide to kind of make their mark and, and try to defend. Mid lane inhibitor turret still 55 seconds. 3500 gold to the Red Bull Baron power play. Lab or something. Jojo gets over the wall. Theoretically, could be interrupted with a pillar, but it might have been down. That's why he felt safe. And doesn't find any way to lock down the Azir. Level 17 on the Emperor. It's EG to the siege. 38 seconds on the buff. Jensen on a ward, still on the flank. Wants to find his angle in. He can knock down that ward. Here comes the Scion. Does a whole lot for Inspire, but he's getting back over the wall. Impact finds the kill on his van on the flank. Just dives the tower and gets one. Tower now gone as well. Inspired, not threatened. Fudge quite a bit low, and they'll knock him down. And the zombie will do its best. But Danny roots him and gets right back out. Yeah, and Impact did such a good job. He zoned Berserker out the entire fight. Berserker did not have cleanse, so he can't fight through the Renekton. You just get stunned up. And EG now on the march here. Will not go down. Will not get swept out of this series. They're going to potentially push us right here to a game four. Danny's 500th kill on a Seraphine, the kill leader on his team. Mage power here down 0-2 in the match. Looking to come back for a reverse sweep. Looking for a banger of a series. Turret's falling. Impact. Zone in the back for now, a quick shield, but be careful, he's gonna lose Guardian Angel. Looking at some of the top side, though, Trundle running for his life. Gets away for now, but they could target the Nexus. Health bar's getting lower, it's gonna be a fight real quick. Is it enough for Berserker? Diving in for one, Jojo tries for the scoop, but Berserker stays alive! Vulcan shuts him down, but three dead for EG. It's gonna be just the man running away. Impact will be TP flanked, and he knows he's got nothing to do. A stun to buy some time, and gonna be shut down! Bottom line ace, come Cloud9, stay alive. They stay alive. This series, my goodness. Two inhibitors down. Nexus exposed. This is insane. 11 11. Cloud9, defend the Nexus here. We can see it one more time. You know, kind of split calls here. Impact, I think, is trying to zone, but the cleanse had come back up there from Berserker. The chains landing from Jensen, who has had an amazing game by the time then. And then Berserker just dashes over the wall there, has the bailout for the additional move speed. You can see the hostile takeover connecting on multiple members, buys him even more time. And EG weren't sure, are we finishing the Nexus? Are we taking the fight? What are we doing? And Berserker is just running over him. Yeah, Vulcan goes in to finish him off, gets the shot, but he goes down in exchange and there's nowhere out for Impact. He knows, he sees the teleport on his screen. It's too late. Jensen with the shutdown on his old teammate. Morgan's coming in. 2,000 kills for Jensen in a game-saving fight. Now number four all-time in the LCS. One of the best LCS players of all time and really having an incredible performance in this series. I think has been very good how he's been playing with Blabber, especially in this game, finding so many good angles to poke and prod at EG. Uh, it's been working well for Cloud9 today. But evil geniuses. The spring LCS champions, not done with it yet. The base still wide open and they come back to push. 4-1 split push, Renekton in mid. They gotta go slow, Impact does not have his Unleashed Teleport, so they're just waiting for him. And when's it gonna happen? Top being left alone, Baron's up in 30, doesn't matter though. EG want to siege with no turrets. You can just walk up and at some point C9 must step to you. Otherwise the Nexus will fall. Pillar not gonna mean a whole lot, Inspire's gonna be fine. And to keep the death ball rolling forward. Always looking out for Berserker on the Zeri level 16. Rank 3 ulti. Root will not land for Danny, but the poke will. Same for Vulcan. Looking now. Pillar's gonna be up there. Danny safe in the side. Charm. Sidestep flashed away, but Fudge is the target. Staying alive for now. Redemption gets the health bars back up. Berserker now fighting. Scoop gonna be flashed, but it's two for zero already. Quick stop watch. Berserker Impact finds the stun. Impact will kill him off. And no one is left from Cloud9 to defend the Nexus. We got a series on our hands. Evil geniuses win game three. E.G. comes storming back into the series, and Seraphine is their queen. Still flex, but should be Sejuani top, should be Blabber on the Olaf. And this is really, really interesting. The answer of the Jack. So E.G. now going with the Vision, vision, uh, vision. We'll see if C9 want to try to scrap for this. It's almost gone. Mightable. Oh, no! no way! No way. Oh, Inspired! I'm gonna say, like, the more I think about it, the more I like C9's comp. Like, so much more than what EG has actually drafted, because EG does not have a... So doing his job on the side lane here, mm -hmm. pushing in, 
He's got it. They're hitting it though. Like first Turkle's gonna go over to Berserker. He just could have. <sighs> EG taking a lot of fundamentals and failing them. 150 gold just goes into Berserker's pockets because if that gets a turret late. And you yeah. know, it's an island. It's an us land. Yep. They okay. gotta combine their efforts to slow down the attack speed exactly. of these damn AD carry. The yeah. Sivir, the Zeri, they're too OP. Built two frozen arts. <laughs> Pretty good right here. Well, you got another attempt here by Blabber. Looking at Inspired. Smite fight! Hey, this one goes to Inspired. And over the wall is Blabber, who's got his own flash, but Blabber's having to take this one. Gets a shield from his teammate, and now Old Sin wants it. Has to go back out. He's also going to time out in a second. And here's Vulcan buying a lot of space. Blabber is going to be handshaken. He's going to be revived. Everything pushed onto him. And how about round two, though? Is it going to be enough? The charm lands. Stopwatch. Berserker's attacking. Zen can't land on his target. Back in they go. Inspired will just barely land. First blood through for Impact. Oh, Vulcan, Vulcan cutting away. Still... Vulcan stays alive. A double kill for Impact. And he's going for more. Oh, he's out, though. It's going to be a dead Danny. Berserker not stunned. To get one back out of Impact. He's going to find his own goal. Jojo misses the charm. And it's going to be another kill. Four in a row for Berserker. Berserker has no summoner spells. That's the one takeaway. Oh, my God. Four EG. Damage here. Saving his own ulti. Rooted in place. Oh, just has to get out. Now it's for an assault, but Blabber's on the chase and inspired. One more action could seal it. And Blabber keeps in the aggro. Here comes the engage. Berserk is on, but will it even matter? Zen's already gone. The chase into Jensen flashes the safety. Vulcan sets up a lot of space. Inspired stayed alive. That's huge. And the revive on Zen. Sometimes you just gotta YOLO it. And Inspired pulls out a play from nowhere. Hiding in the brush. Inside all members of Cloud9. Next as well. More beef for these team fights to actually be able to get in and join the team in addition to being a split push threat. I wonder if he if he's gonna go Sterics or if he's gonna go Holebreaker and commit well, to K help on this infernal Drake. Danny shoves out mid, but he has to play as five on five. In goes the Jax, and back gonna keep saving his stun. Inspire gets tagged up by Zeri. Fudge holds the front line pretty well. Decent mana pool thanks to Frozen Heart. Half health now on the Drake. They gotta go soon. Vulcan, when does he find the way in? 3 k reset. Jensen's still in the right spot to support his team. Crab will be claimed. First smite from Inspired. Second charge is coming up. They can burn it. it. They know he's got no smite. Yeah. They can burn it. Berserk comes in. They're rushing for it now. This dragon's gonna be a freebie. Another bad smite means the dragon souls comes in. Team fight starts now. Fudge attack. Fudge gets us some time to revive, and he will get the zillion ulti. Blabber on the chase, but Blabber now without revives left. They gotta win this fight somehow, but Danny is left. Berserker gets one. A single traded back, and he's still on the chase. A flash forward, but Berserker just will. Not Bail He's bailed out! And guess what, EG? It's time to jump oh. ship! They get one to Zeri. Volk gets the kill credit, but Inspired able to walk back to his base. Yeah, Inspired not going to be able to get the chase in there, but it's the soul for C9. Such a good job of capitalizing on that because Inspired was chugged low. They're He's not done yet, heal. Sven's He's gonna try trouble. to punch Sven. Here comes oh, Inspired. He gets the out of the right character. He needs the out of the land. He gets one. But can he live? Triumph heal is huge. Oh. Down below 10,000 health. Dies rapidly here to a four item Zeri. Can even get there in time. It's still burning. Do they have a chance at a smite? Engage comes in. Baron is secured. Zonia's buys a little bit of seconds, but a spell shiver. Danny keeps him alive in the fight. Vulcan low, but not dead either. Shut down onto the Wukong. And here comes Berserker. Two kills picked up. An escape for EG. But he's so hasted for more. Just goes for the mid lane. They know they've got the bear and they've got two kills. They've got the series in their hands. Cloud9 are on the push here. 40 seconds on Danny. He's the only one who can wave through this. Cloud9 want to punch their ticket to world right here, right now. And it's looking like it. Nexus turrets open soon. Mid tier two is gone. Inhibitor is going to be there as well. 20 seconds on the Wukong back up. 20 still on Danny. They can go for at least one tower, but do they like this push? Health bars and mana bars both a little bit low. Bit of damage towards Fudge. You walk in. Headbutt it back though. Health bars are low enough. Wukong's up in five. Stun's going to go wide. Charm is decent damage. Blabber still feels safe for now. Zillion is up. They can play to the edge. They know. Fudge to bodyguard. So they pull the outer and say, screw it. We'll start now. Time, of course, is not on EG's side. His mid is going to be flooded in with super minions. Inspired for the jump out yet again. Can't find the play. At least Elder will be hitting Cloud9. Ulti goes wide from Fudge, but will it matter? Spell shield blocks the slow. Only zap towards Vulcan looks good. Alistair ult's still up, but no flash makes it hard to get in. Yeah, Cloud9 just have to buy time. They don't need to be the ones to force it. The supers are pushing mid. Impact yeah, is getting chunked low, and Inspired is, is seen on the other side. Mikhail's even finished as well for Jensen, so even a charm may not be enough.
Sweeper sees the ward, knows what's going on there. Will there be an engage though? Vulcan in the wings has a blast plant, but he's on a ward. They're going for him. They're hasted in. Fudge, gonna look for this one. Vulcan ults late after he's already too low. Headbutt means nothing. The fight comes in the bottom side there. Handshake brings back Inspired. It's two for them so far. Impact's gonna be next. They look for Zven, a support, a Pyrrhic victory. Not even that. TP is already going into the base. This is over. Cloud9 take down the defending LCS champions. The ace comes through for Jensen. 14 to 7, and Cloud9 to the second LCS team headed to the World Championship. C9 are back, baby! Sending ET to the lower bracket. What an incredible series from Cloud9. They're going to finish it out and done in style with the Olaf, with the Zillion, with a monster performance here from Berserker. Cloud9 pull off.